Well, thank you. Thank you well, very well. much for receiving me. Well, please thank you. Thank you. It's very nice to be again here. Well, thank you. Mr. President. Hello. General. What may I call you? Anything you wish. Hello, Mr. Baker. How are you, Mr. Ambassador? Thank you. Fine. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Ambassador. How are you? Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, congratulations. Nice to see you. Well, thank you so much for your support. Oh, Without your support, support. <laughs> that have worked. <laughs> well, Secretaries Carlucci and Weinberg have both spoken with great admiration. Old friends, both, in fact, this morning at breakfast with Kat, Kat Weinberg. And uh, I'll see uh, Frank Carlucci just in a few minutes. Well, well we. Uh, we know all the good work you've done for your country, and now you're going to, you're going to face some tremendous tasks on yeah. behalf of all of us, yeah. the Russians. Well, keep your fingers crossed, and I hope for your support. <laughs> yes, we well, there are a great many challenges, Maya. Uh, in our country, it was very well received. And I think the alliance is uh, more and more. There are two waves of press right now. Great. <laughs> Answer any of those questions right now with what's going on, the process that's going on. All I can tell you is that we do want Noriega out of there and a return to a civilian democratic government. Well, will you drop the extradition aspect of the indictment? Well, as I say, I'm, I'm not in a position to answer any of those things right now. Well, you know, a lot of Panamanians aren't being paid today, they're going without any pay. Is that a good thing? <laughs> Should happen to us. Mr. President, can we get a contra bill this week? <laughs> you're all here before the meeting starts. <laughs> yeah, but you're all smiling. <laughs> <It's just you. laughs> Sir, are you going to press the Prime Minister Shamir to, to sign on to the Schultz peace plan? We're going to discuss the peace plan, I'm quite sure. And we're a number of things with the, the Prime Minister, but Sam, I'm just amazed that you're asking me questions. I haven't been west of Georgetown. You've been out there in Illinois. What's going on? Yeah. Sir, what do you think is going to happen? <laughs> you're the political expert. You know, you <laughs> never got out of the airport. <laughs> Are you The Republican leader of the Senate, are you pulling for him? He's not present today. Uh, that's what that is. <laughs> well, are you neutral in favor of Bush? <laughs> <laughs> I am neutral. In favor of Bush? 
Yes, thank you all. Newton's going to start to the head of the fire. <laughs> well, do you know what a Dukakis is? <laughs> get underway here. Last Friday I announced that uh, several steps would be taken against the illegitimate Noriega regime in Panama. And now that our friends have gone, I can tell you we've taken action to suspend trade preferences to Panama under the generalized schedule of preferences and the Caribbean Basin Initiative. And I have ordered intensified scrutiny by our immigration and customs services aimed at apprehending the drug traffickers and the money launderers. Funds due to Panama from our government are being reviewed to determine whether they should be placed in escrow in the name of the Panamanian people. I might add that certain payments due to Panama from the Panama Canal Commission will be placed in escrow immediately. Additional steps will be taken if necessary to deny any transfer of funds to the Noriega regime from other sources in the United States. And we've done these things because until such time as democratic government is restored in Panama, we cannot conduct relations on a business as usual basis. We have been and remain committed to fulfilling our obligations under the Panama Canal treaties, and we're also prepared to assume our relationships with the Panamanian Defense Forces once civilian government and constitutional democracy are reestablished. And now I'm going to ask Colin Powell if he will update us on the situation in Panama. Thank you, Mr. President. I'll begin by just restating the goal. So do I. Nice to meet you. I'm Jack Wasserman from New York, Mr. President. Yeah, great good pleasure. to see you. Thank you, sir. Angus Pollock, yes. It's been nice, nice to see you. I love my conversation. Good to meet you. I'm Walter Brown, Mr. President. How do you do that? That's what I'm having this job. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks very much. Henry Muller, Mr. President. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Pleased to meet you. And also, I'm going to this week to see the press conference. Well, nice to see you there. How are you doing, sir? Nice to see you. A very interesting something here, Mr. President. This is a symbol, the first one of its kind, produced in Sweden, in Swedish crystal. All of these symbols here indicate relations between our two countries. We think this is called Lucia. This has to do with the, the goddess of light, who is an ancient Italian saint. The Swedes adopted her early on in the 1700s, every 13th of uh, December. The Swedish women walk around, the beautiful Swedish women, walk around with candles, lighted candles. This is the dark day in Sweden. Uh, the light starts right after this. This symbolizes light. It also symbolizes peace. It also symbolizes trade. You are the first recipient of what we call 
the Nobel Prize of free trade. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first one, and it'll be perpetuated if there are other qualifying individuals. But you're the first, and we're here representing the Swedish American Chamber of Commerce, Swedish industry, and we feel over 208 years we've had an unbroken trade relationship between our two countries. We can't say that about politics, but we can say that about trade. <laughs> so we, we think that, that's here to stay, and we are so proud to give this to you, representing the Swedish and American business community, and as the first recipient, we're so proud that you will accept it. Well, I am very proud to be the first recipient of this, and all of you who are all the way from Sweden to deliver this, uh, I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. And as for trade, yes, I think our the relations we have, and you know that I'm opposed to protectionism, and so yes, on. sir. So I'm most appreciative of all that you've done there with regard to trade. Incidentally, speaking of the history there also, I know that we're celebrating the 350th anniversary of the first migration here, and we're looking forward to their majesties, your king and queen, who are coming. They say, Mr. President, I'm an old man, but I didn't come over with the first group. I came, <laughs> <laughs> I came after a little bit later. A little bit later. Well, I didn't exactly hear it. We will not take your time, but here's a descriptive scroll. And I think that uh, you can read it at your leisure. And, uh, and we're proud, proud to say this is the first. description which I think you might like of the person who created this and the artist who was responsible for it. Well, this will glow in the dark, Mr. President. Uh -huh. yeah. It symbolizes Lucia. Uh -huh. Well, yeah, that's the glowing Lucia. Well, I'm you've given us a lot of your time. We well, promised we'd be in an answer. Well, listen. <laughs> I'm most appreciative of the time that you have spent here and all that you've done, and I'm extremely proud to, to be the first recipient of this. Well, the four years you gave me in Sweden as your ambassador there in 81, we well, much appreciate it. Well, honored, pleased that you would do it. Yeah, thanks, thanks. Thank you all, right? Uh, Mr. President, your majesties are looking forward very much to their visit here. Well, we're looking and forward to deliver it today a letter to the Chief of Protocol from His Majesty to you, where he thanks for a message from the President. Okay. Say so much, he's looking forward to coming here. All right. Well, thanks. All the best. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you sir. Bye now. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Great to visit with you. Well, I'm glad to have you here. Thank you. 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 Thank Carry on with that. Well, thank you. I, I hope I'll do what uh, I'm supposed to, and with Ashay's help, I am Mr. President. Good to see you again. Well, good to see you. You're looking fit as always. Well, have to. With the director coming in here, with regard to that. Well, you are the most exemplary uh, uh, person for our our cause of fitness, and uh, I was telling Ash that I would just. Hope that uh, every day we can have you out front and center and showing all the Americans uh, what fitness really is. Well, I appreciate that very much, and I, I am very grateful to someone for the good help that I had. Mm -hmm. I also want to compliment you on your passing arm. Um, I saw in the television clip of uh, the Rose Garden pass to the. Washington Redskins yes. receiver, and then I saw your pass to the uh, Notre Dame receiver the other day, and you, you, you were very good. He was a uh, top quarterback. Well, I'll tell you, when Moose Krause handed me that ball on the platform and then turned, 
and indicated that I was in there, that the team was over there among those 10,000 people sitting out there. And this one young fellow stood up and held his hand up. I didn't know that was their Heisman Trophy winner <laughs> and uh, All-American. And, and uh, <laughs> so I let fly. <laughs> he, he couldn't have had a better pass. He really. yeah. Yeah. Well, he was so crowded in, he couldn't have made a move. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, amazing. The, I met you at the uh, Rose Bowl kickoff luncheon after your term as governor of California, and I was impressed how enthusiastic you were about football in those days. And it yes. was 1,500 uh, enthusiasts for the Rose Bowl and uh, at that kickoff luncheon, and you, you gave them a very fine fight talk. Well, football played a great role in my life. After those two passes, I may have to change my favorite story about throwing accuracy. Happened up at the ranch when we first bought this present ranch. And uh, one of the fellows on our staff was there with us and we were all working and fixing up the little old house that was there. And he and I went out to get some, in the Jeep, to get some creek rocks that we thought we could use for decoration. And on the way back, he said, snake over the side of the road. So I stopped and uh, I said to him in the Jeep there, I said, well, I'm going to get out and look. And I said, I don't go around killing things, but if this is a rattler, I'm going to kill it. And he had started to get out of the Jeep. And all of a sudden, as I'm going around the front, he's backing up onto the Jeep. And he's saying, kill it. <laughs> and I looked, and there was about a four-foot rattler. And it was trying to get up the bank into the rocks. Hmm. Well, I looked for something. My favorite weapon is to get a big rock and dump on their heads. And I couldn't find one, and find, he's almost to the rocks. And I just finally picked up one about the size of a lime, and I let fly, hit him right in the head, and squashed his head. Mm. I got in the Jeep without saying a word. We went back down. When I got in the house, I heard him outside saying to the other fellas, and then he picked up this stone, and he threw that stone, and he hit that snake right in the head. And I said to Nancy, and he will never see me throw a rock again in my life. <laughs> Good time to return. You, uh, left that one behind, but your passing prowess is at least <laughs> twofold. Uh, so. yeah, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, we appreciate your support well, with the President's Council uh, and appreciate well, your, your willingness to see us today. I so. think it's really very important. Well, you've been a good supporter, and we look forward to the next eight or nine months of uh, continued energy and enthusiasm. All right. We'll go after him. Thank okay. you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye, sir.